everybody. This is my little monthly video about what I'm working on and anything that I might have actually completed. So this is obviously the star blanket that featured in one of my other videos recently when I did a little mini yarn review and this is being made with the the Beaches DK which I talked about in the um, the other video but I just wanted you to see a little progress bit as to how far I'd gotten with it because if you remember it was only a little bit of yarn that I was actually given from my mum that she had left over from another project but it's actually gotten to quite a decent size now for a little mini baby blanket so I just intend to pop on probably a nice crisp white border now and then this will be good to go. Um, as to who it will go to I don't know yet but it's always nice to complete one of these. So as always I will leave the link for the yarn and also the link for the tutorial for this blanket down in the description. So yeah this is the beautiful 12 point star and it's done beautiful mm, mishmash of pastel shades and it's really delicate and lovely and I'm really happy with how the yarn was to work with as well so that's a really nice project to have ticked off. And then I can finally show you this one properly now because it's been returned from the magazine. So this is the Whirly Modern Baby Blanket which I did as a written pattern for issue 42 of Crochet Now magazine and they obviously kept hold of this for a little while to do the photos and also to look at in case any people that had been using the magazine had any questions regarding the pattern. So now that that issue has well been and gone, I have received the blanket back and I am now able to make a tutorial for it in the coming months as well. So it's called the Whirly Modern Baby Blanket and I chose that name because I specifically designed this blanket for use with one of the shapies whirl. But obviously you can use any yarn that you like, but that was the reasoning behind the name. So it's these beautiful variations on granny stitches. So it's a really nice simple body blanket and then the border just adds a little bit of extra loveliness. You've got some really nice textured ridges, details. You've also got beautiful popcorns and lovely frills on the edge as well. So yeah, this is a tutorial that will be coming in two parts to my channel at some point. I don't know exactly when the tutorial will be done but hopefully it won't be too far in the distance for you. So yeah, it's a really good size but it's just such a beautifully simple and elegant baby blanket so I was really pleased with how that came, came out and also with the feedback from people that have made it as well has been really positive. So yeah, that's the Whirly Modern Baby Blanket. And then finally, over the last couple of days, I've been wondering what to do with my hands because, as lots of you know, I've not been very well and I don't intend to be filming any tutorials and things because I just don't have the, the time nor the energy levels, to be honest, to actually complete anything like that at the moment. But obviously this video is just a natter and that's not too bad but this is a little summer boho style top that I've made for my little girl and it is the most incredible colours I'm really hoping that they pick up on the camera and this has been made using some beautiful hand dyed yarn from Siobhan's Crafts now you all know how much I love her yarns and this one is the Fruit Salad DK yarn. So it is a really, really simple top to make. Um, I didn't follow a pattern or anything like that. I just used my circle in a granny square pattern. So I just used that to make up some squares, obviously. And then I joined them together in a zigzag all the way around as you can see and my daughter wanted a little modesty patch putting across this bit and then obviously some very simple 
straps and then we went a little bit tassel crazy but I don't think there's any such thing as too many tassels so she's really looking forward to wearing this over the summer and yeah it's actually turned out really nicely and kept my hands busy which is never a bad thing but anyway that is all I've got to show you for for this one I hope that it's been nice to have a little catch up and I will see you at some point for some more bits and bobs. I'm not sure exactly what or when things will be coming, but I will see you for something else soon. But bye for now.